cane just for today or? Yeah, maintenance day. Another maintenance day. I know you can't rest anybody, but if there's anybody that's nicked up, do you consider it for these last few? Yeah, no, I mean, it's day to day and we'll see where we go, but uh, yeah, there's not a whole lot of options. So, but uh, no, if somebody's not ready to play, they're not going to play, that's for sure. So Lindgren said he's back. Um, he said that, eh? That's what he said. <laughs> he's uh, back. Uh, Perfect. He's, he's back. Um, it's obvious, but I want you to say, what does yeah. he, you know, what does he bring to this group, and, and when he's not mm -hmm. in the lineup, how does it change it? Well, I think he brings a lot to our group. He's a competitive guy, as we all know, and the way he plays the game and special teams, penalty kill, he's huge for us. Defensive situation, he's huge for us. And, and saying that, he's a good offensive player too. He moves the puck real well. So, I just, I think adding him, him to our group makes a big difference in our team. He's a, he's a competitive guy, and he works hard every shift. And uh, we all seen him how he played last year in the playoffs, and you know, that's what excites you about him. So since he's he's obviously now cleared to play, do you look at him just as one of your players, or or do you, you know, want to be very careful with him? Is he, or is he, no, he's, I, he's I mean, good to go. he's, we're going to play him good to go, good yeah. to go. I mean, uh, nobody's told us any different. Just uh, the, the kid worked hard for a week. We probably held him out a little longer, but you know what? You want to make sure, and hopefully things go well. You know, I mean, injuries can happen at any time to any player, even though he's coming off injuries, but. You just hope everything's good, and uh, he works hard and plays hard, and he feels 100% ready to go. So good to go would include the back-to-back, -back, both of them? That's the plan. If, Unless if, something comes up. <laughs> if you did want to rest somebody, I guess the only other option would be do 11 and 7. Is that something? Yeah, you could do that, and that's no issue with that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. no issue at all with that. Mm -hmm. with, with, uh, with Kane again, I mean, obviously if he can't practice, he can't practice, but you, you lose a day where he could... Nobody said he couldn't practice. Well, he, 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 he had a maintenance day, so nobody said he couldn't not, practice. All right. Don't dig into it. Right. No, no, I'm just saying that you, you lost a day where those three guys could work together. And Doesn't lose matter. I'm not worried about losing the day. Mm -hmm. It's like the playoffs. You, practice, you, you, you play a game, you have an optional skate, you have an optional morning skate, and then away they go. They don't need to practice now. With, uh, with him and Mika, though, they haven't played much together. I mean, what, do you, no. what, do you, you know, what are you hoping for from that? That combination. I'm hoping from all the combination with the new players that uh, they gel together and they play hard. They've done pretty well over over the last number of games, and we're happy we're winning hockey games. So I'm not worried about one combination. I'm worried about the whole group. And during the game, if we don't like it, we want to get something different. We'll change it up a little bit. So it's not like it's going to shock our guys. They play with <laughs> every line combination they could. So I'm not worried about that. At different points throughout the season, you've talked about cutting down on turnovers. We could probably talk mm -hmm. from one period to another kind of a different story, but yeah. overall recently, how, do you feel like it's trending in the right direction, or what, what do you think about the puck management? Uh, I've liked it. Again, we've had a pretty good record overall. Uh, I thought the last game we played the game from the drop of the puck right till the end of the game, and that's what I liked about our team. We managed the puck well. We put a lot more pucks to the net. Uh, I think the kid line, they, you know, they scored a couple of real nice goals because they worked hard, hard down low. And, when you can show good clips like that and show them that they work like that, it, it goes a long way with your team. And I think the guy really looked at the, the way the kids played last game, and uh, they said, you know what, they did some real good things down low. They managed the puck real well. We went low to high and got some rebounds. So you know, it's simple stuff. Every coach has the same thing. But uh, when you do it and you see it, it, it works really well for our group especially. So you're using them as an example for, for some of the other guys? Well, when you see some clips. But, I mean, the other guys got to play their game, and that's what it's all about. I mean, <laughs> you just can't say, well, you know, Brad's going to go play Capo's game. That's mm -hmm. not yeah. what Brad does. But when we show pucks going to the net and people going for the second and third chances, that's, that's what makes our team play really well. Mika's goal is a power play goal, but it was pucks going to the net first and then things open up. I know they had a couple goals. It seemed like that, that line with Panarin and Trocek and Tarasenko had a pretty mm -hmm. good game. Did you feel yep. the same way? Yeah, I did. Yeah, I thought everybody played well. I really did. Mm -hmm. We talked a lot in the season about Panarin and Trocek, and it took a little time. Trocek mm -hmm. seems like he's had a strong second half. I mean, is there anything that you've seen that, that's clicking with them? You think I think he flirting? played better defensively. I mean, Trocek played strong defense, and that's what he's known. He's known as a 200-foot player. And I think, the, you know, the first 40, I thought he was trying to do too much offensively and turn the pucks over. I thought the last number of games for us, the last 20 or 25, he's played great defensive hockey, and it led to better hockey. Seems like Tarasenko has been working pretty hard yes, in some of those yeah. physical areas. He does too. a real good job on the boards, you know, on the breakouts. He does a real good job, and he's a veteran guy. So, no, I like a lot of the way we're trending right now. We're getting playoff ready, and uh, you, get, you, you know, you'll have some bad periods, and you'll have a bad game or so. But 
we're bouncing back, and that's what's important.